Yeah, fucking Hydro City. Dude, I got You're talking about whether you can see indigo with your with your eyes. Oh, okay, great. What what? It's it's part of the rainbow. I was told as a kid indigo wasn't a real color. What? Indigo is a plant. Well, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, like... More like indica, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! Dude! Apparently the human eye can't really differentiate between blue and purple hues. Uh, Dude, do you want to hear some fucked up shit? Yeah. Sorry. I, Keith, I'm sorry, can we talk about Sonic on this Sonic video? I guess. I'm sorry. You're No, it's okay, you don't have to apologize. I'm so, no, I, I was the one that told you to check the chat about Kratom. Yes, you but, did. But then you start talking about indigo. Dude, I think you're, I think you're thinking... <laughs> Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is the thing that has purple in the name that you can't see. I'm just reading the chat. No, I'm not talking to you. Why are you yelling at me about this? It wasn't me. It was the chat. You told me the chat. All right. Let's let's move on. (laughs) So first of all, a huge fucking smile came on my face when I got to this level because I fucking love Hydro City so much. Yeah, you do. And here's that opening bit, right? Where you're like, okay, go over here. There's a spring over here, and then there's this platform, and then you can like fly over to the other side, right? And you get that high up starting spot. Uh-huh. Not here in Sonic Mania. It's fucked up. You gotta go through here. I don't like that. That's the only thing oh, I don't like. Oh, this is though. the only one I've ever done. Oh well, I mean, I've never done that high up spot. Except, except for some time where I definitely would have shown it to you in one of our let's plays. But yeah. Kyle, I don't remember it's, anything it's really you've ever done during a recording. It's really you know that. F- funny that, like, there's a bunch of Sonic stuff that I told you about in our last Sonic Let's Play that you didn't know about, and, like, you st- still don't know still about don't it because you it. don't remember. Yeah. But, like, I can not, like, I can't remember stuff we talked about in the Sonic Let's Play, like, off the top of my head, but once we are talking about it, I'm like, I know that we talked about this on the Sonic yeah. Let's Play. Yeah, I'm so bad about it. I'll have, like, um... It's never more apparent than when someone will, like, tweet, like, a quote from a show at me. Whether it's this or whether it's Friends of the Table or whatever. Uh-huh. And I'll be, I'll be like, I have... Not only do I have no idea what that is or where it's from, I don't even know what you could be talking about. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, my... I just had, like, a Joy-Con issue. Oh, really? Like, where I went to hit turn, and my Joy-Con didn't turn. That's messed up. It's super fucked up. It, like, it... I've still never had a single issue with my Joy-Con. It almost never, ever happens to me, but for in the past week, it started happening a couple times again. Huh. I don't know why. I'm sure they'll put out oh, will new you... Joy-Con soon. Oh, they... No, they already fixed it. Oh. And you can send in your old Joy-Cons, and they'll fix it for free. I just never did that. Though I, oh, I shouldn't get that, because that's how you get the perfect. Ah, Nerd see, job. I'm learning. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kyle's really scared of me after... Every time he says something shitty and nerdy now, I, um... I step into a locker after we record <laughs> for about an hour and a half. Ah, it didn't turn! Man, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. And the switch is right here, not obstructed at all. That's fucked up. Yeah, you're like, what, four feet, maybe four and a half feet from the switch? I'm going to, I don't, I guess. What are you going to do? I'm going to reposition it a little bit, but I don't think it's going to help. I'll switch to your Joy-Cons if you haven't had a problem. Definitely not pull the switch out, though. They're still talking about indigo. Um, the, someone said, every time I learned about the rainbow in science class, it was like, indigo is not real. That's insane. What? It's there. In the, You can see it in the rainbow. I think this is, like, a huge miscommunication to, like, whoever taught you about rainbows is that the, the thing about indigo in the rainbow is that everyone says that purple is one of the colors of the rainbow and then at some point everyone decided like no we can't say it's purple it's actually indigo so we should say it's actually indigo so the 
The rainbow is red, orange, green, yellow. Ooh, what's this? Red, indigo orange, yellow, children. green, blue, indigo. I googled indigo, and it's telling you about indigo children. What is that? Children that can't see indigo? <laughs> indigo children, according to a pseudoscientific New Age concept, oh. are children who are believed to possess special, unusual, and sometimes supernatural traits or abilities. Cool! They are sometimes referred to as crystal children or star children. <laughs> The, <laughs> what are you talking the about? The idea is based on concepts developed in the 70s by Nancy Ann Tape and further developed by John Tober and Lee Carroll. Those are all names of people that would come check up with something called Indigo check, Children or Star Children. Check out this boat. Well, I know the star child. He's in Kiss. Um, he, he, wants, he wants to party all night long. Wait, is that... Wanna rock, oh, wait. Rock and roll all night. Damn it, I really messed that one up. Interpretations of indigo children beliefs range from their uh, being the next stage in human evolution, in some cases possessing paranormal abilities such as telepathy, and believe they are more empathetic and creative than their parents. Hey, hey guys. very weird. Hey, guys. Yeah. How super fucked up was it that Keith did not give me a single inch on that Star Child bit? Fuck you. It seemed like you, were, it seemed like you didn't want anything. You didn't think I wanted you to riff on my Star Child kiss thing? No, I thought that you wanted that to be it. Do you want to do a redo? Okay, sure, sure. Okay. I know. Well, I know the Star Child. He's in Kiss. He wants to rock and roll all night and party every day. That must be his paranormal ability. Well, I mean, the thing was, I also, I also tried to do the. Wait, was it rock? Is it really rock and roll? See, I. Uh, this was the I thing. I yeah, got. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. Yeah, yeah I got one. that. I got the most famous Kiss song, Wicked Wrong, at first, and I wanted wait, you to like what help. Did you me. say? I was like, oh yeah, he wants to party all night long, and then I was like, wait, no, it's, ro uh, it's rock. And oh, roll I all no, night. I got it super wrong. Yeah, you did get, I didn't hear you get it wrong. Okay, I mean, yeah. The, yeah. I, so yeah, it wasn't me thinking that you wanted to be left out to. Dry? Left out yep, to yep, hang? Yep, yep. What is it? It's left hanging or left out to dry. Okay, great. So it's both. I got, them, I got it right both times. Oh, I like this. Yeah, these are weird. You can control... So I'm controlling with the D-pad, but he will all be constantly rising. And then I can push the jump button to pop myself. <sighs> No, 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 no. I did not let these fans blow me far enough down. There we uh, go. Well, that might not be enough still. Fuck. Apparently this indigo child thing is like used as justification for parents not to seek uh, uh, psychiatric treatment for oh, yeah. kids with mental illness. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with your kitty. He's just an indigo child. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I think I need to like use the downward momentum like the first time. I gotta know, this part's interesting, but it's kind of a finicky. There we go. No! No, that stupid fish. Fuck you guys. Oh, God man, no damn one likes that it. Fish. Yeah, you got this. There we go. That's not even a problem. You got that right away. Yep. I got that right away my 10th try, yeah. You're right. Apparently, that's where the game Indigo Prophecy got its name. Indigo Prophecy, man, oh. what a fucking horrible game that is. Yeah, it's real bad. What a really, really miserable game. Okay. It was... Astoundingly bad. It had it had a fairly for for its time. It was interesting enough and unique enough that the first act was really cool and engaging. I didn't play it until uh, like two years ago. Oh, okay, then yeah, it would then 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 it would have been garbage all the way through. It was garbage all the way through. It was so bad. Yeah. Oh, there's that. Look, look at him. It's Dr. Robotnik. He's scuba diving. What? Yeah. Get him out of there. This is your chance. Yeah, get him out of there. Can we talk for a second about how Sonic has really no plan 
<laughs> for 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 stopping Dr. Robotnik long term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has, you know, he's always just like, "Hey, when Dr. Robotnik comes back, I'll stop him." But Yeah. I'm not going to like do anything about it. Like I'm well, just gonna I stop I it. I think it's it's kind of that Batman thing. It's like we're supposedly I vowed not to kill. Yeah, like supposedly we're supposed to value the idea that like you don't kill bad people, you just let them keep being bad, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't think kill Dr. Robotnik, but he never even tries to like have him arrested. Or anything, or like exile. Well, I, I mean, he's kind. I think there's no one to arrest Doctor Robotnik except Doctor Robotnik. I don't know. Well, this is the only game that has like, as far as I remember, this is the only game that's ever tried to be like. Well, Doctor Robotnik controls the world. Eh, you're, you might be right. Like, as far as the other Sonic games, and I'm mostly talking about 3D Sonic games because that's. Besides this game, that's yeah. the only other games where Dr. Robotnik is so Okay, yeah, that's true. Which, by the way, I am giving this game tons of credit for characterizing Dr. Robotnik in a way that other games haven't without, you know, without being yeah. a more advanced, like, visual story than just the original Sonic Yeah, games. totally. Um, uh, uh, sorry, go ahead. I was about to interject and interrupt, but then I realized... I was just going to say that, that most of the other Sonic games, like, are totally fine with portraying Robotnik as just like, like, I don't know, he's just some guy that showed up. He's just a nefarious evildoer. He's just, yeah, like, it seems that nobody knows about Robotnik and who he is, uh, even while his his machinations are, are unfolding. Oh, my dude, you want to see something? I just perfected that. Nice. Well, bam, there it is. Bam. Hey, Keith. Yeah. You ever wonder what the bottom of an Avatar shoe looks like? Well, bam, there it is. Well, bam, there it is. This couch is hurting so, my back right now. So, uh, so here's an interesting boss fight. Okay, this, show me. This made me smile. This is a Robotnik that you're fighting. Oh, you know what? I think I might be jumping the gun here. We'll see. Oh, you're saying it might not be interesting? Yeah, it might actually be garbage. I don't know. No, this, this was not what I was talking about. Man, can we talk for a second about, like, the fucking, like, like, mental anguish that people have over being in the water in Sonic? Like, there are some people that are like, I can't play Sonic because it stresses me out too much to be underwater all, really? all that much. Like, yeah, I don't know. So, okay, so here's the thing that fucking this, this, this right here. Ooh, I was like, whoa. fucking excuse me? Excuse me? Now you're the evildoer. Yeah. So right here, you got to suck him up, but not get the bombs. And then you can use the bombs to blow up his bombs. I just, I, uh, I, bomb, bomb, bomb. I was just like, man, like, I love this now, but if seven-year-old Kyle had seen this, he would have just started foaming at the mouth and, like, convulsing or something. Like, yeah. Uh, it might be fine. Ah! That's, the, that's the thing I really like about this game, is that, like, why do these bombs not hurt Robotnik? Good point. And, and here's the thing about this, right, is I get that the reason they had Robotnik scuba diving uh, is so that you could take his flying egg thing and have the fun, like, roll reversal boss fight, and that's yeah. great. So I'm not mad that they did that. But let's be real. Dr. Robotnik would never do this much physical activity. That's why he goes around in a flying rascal scooter all the time. Yeah. Like, he can't move. He can't move. Morbidly obese, this guy. Hey, but in water, you're super buoyant. You know what? I'm being too... That didn't even hurt me. That's just, that's just nothing. That's late, too. Bummer. You got it. You got this. Man, you know what this guy's doing? He's dropping those bombs right when he starts getting sucked up. Like sorry, this right. is yeah. This is this is like the most trouble I've had with this in a while. Because usually what happens is I just don't yeah, even bother trying to use my bombs against his. I just kind of yeah. There we go. I started getting nervous because we we're really close to time over. Oh really? What's time over? Time over is uh, if you. And this has always been true of Sonic. If you get to 10 minutes, you just die. And you have to go back to the checkpoint. Bummer. Yeah. 
But the good thing is that if you die from a time over, you go back to the checkpoint, it and resets it to time. zero, yeah. Ugh. So it's more just kind of like a slap on the wrist, but it still sucks. According to Trim Fandango, the only reason that the water exists in the first place is because the developers of the original game actually thought that hedgehogs couldn't swim. This is... I hate when people bring this up. Like, I'm sorry. Right, well, I'm Trim really Fandango. sorry to Trim Fandango, but I hate when people bring this up like it's an interesting fact. Because people me? are like, ooh, they thought hedgehogs couldn't swim, but actually they're great swimmers. No, it's not that they thought hedgehogs couldn't swim. It's that they didn't care because <laughs> video <laughs> games just have underwater levels and no one... This is like people going to Mark Hamill about the X-Wing. They're like... Uh, how come in Sonic, uh, Sonic can't swim except hedgehogs are great swimmers? It's like, because it's a fucking video game, you nerd. Leave me alone. I'm Yuji Naka. Fuck off. I just think it's, they didn't have the internet. That too. Yeah, that also. We only know that hedgehogs love water because of all those adorable ass hedgehog videos of hedgehogs floating That's in water. That's true. If it wasn't for the internet, no one would know that hedgehogs can swim. And and ju I know I already apologized. Again, I'm very sorry to Trim Fandango. You did not deserve that at all, and I'm very sorry. But still, though. it sounds like you think that he deserved it. I uh, no, I don't think he deserved it. It sounds like you Trim think he it. or she or whoever. I don't know. What does Trim Fandango identify as? Doesn't matter to me. Not my business. You're trying too hard now. I don't see. <laughs> I don't. You're, I don't see gender roles. Or Kyle, whatever. you're panicking after excoriating <laughs> one of your fans. I wasn't panicking. I was just having fun. You're panicking. No, I was having fun. You're panicking. No, I'm not. Your hands are shaking. That's just because I'm pumped full of adrenaline from this exciting. Man, I like. I like Hydro City a lot. Oh, hey. I think I just saw. I think I just saw. You don't a, want that, a big old ring up shiny? there. No, you don't want that shiny fuck thing? no. The thing is, I'm I'm too used to skipping them now. Well, you missed it. Fuck tails, get the fuck out of there! What are you doing? Tails, wait. help me. Get the get the controller and. I've got to now help. God. Wait, wait, wait. Mmm. No. Okay. Let. Oh, what? Huh? <laughs> Idiot. What? Tails is an asshole. <laughs> Tails is a stupid jerk. Tails did that on purpose. Hey, Kyle, do you want to talk about the um, the Super Nintendo Mini? Uh, what? Do we really have to go right from my hate-filled rant about swimming hedgehogs to my hate-filled rant about the SNES Mini? I just feel like it's good to keep it all in one place. <laughs> all right, that's fair. All right. This SNES Mini thing, man. It... People are... Kyle, what is the SNES Mini? I, I mean, if you don't know, then... I know. This is for the viewer. I mean, if they don't know, I mean, I guess, whatever. What, you can't explain Okay, it? last holiday season, they unveiled something that they called the NES Classic Edition, and what it was was... Uh, was, was. What it was was was... A... <laughs> what? what it was 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 was... Was... <laughs> what it was was a miniature NES console. That's that's the original Nintendo for you people that don't know what an NES is for some reason. Yeah. Uh, and it and it was a little tiny baby uh, that you could fit in the palm of your hand. And it came with the original style controllers. How did they fit all that NES in that little tiny? Uh, baby? Well, it was like a little. It was it. It was a little. It had HDMI. It had a little robot brain inside of it. There's a computer inside that little baby. Yeah. And <laughs> and that com computer, that little baby. And it had, I think, thirty. It had thirty of like. It had basically like. When, if you were trying to be like, what NES games does this thing need to have? When you're even thinking about third-party games, it had, like, every single one of those. So it had, like, Mega Man 2 and Final Fantasy and all three Mario games. And, you know, just it had everything in it. It was just, like, a great package. And it was $60, $2 per game. That's an amazing deal. And everybody heard about this, and they freaked out because everyone wanted it. Except, oh, wait, they only made 10 of them, <laughs> and nobody could get them. It Like, it was... Like, like you, you would have thought that it was the apocalypse and, and the NES Classic was water for how hard it was to get that shit. Like, it yeah. was crazy. And, and, it, and it didn't get better. Everyone was like, oh, okay, they didn't know how many to make for the holiday, but it's just, they're going to make more. It's fine. No, there was never even... They never even met 5% of the demand. 
And then they made this announcement. Hey, uh, the NES Classic was just for this year, and we actually need those production facilities to ramp up production on the new thing we're putting out this year, the SNES Classic. So sorry, uh, we're just stopping the NES Classic for now. And by the way, they didn't. it wasn't like they ran out and then said that. They ran out and then waited a fucking while and then said, by the way, we're not making any more of those. Well, I think they still kept making them, but just like in such low quantities that they might as well might as well have been making zero. Yeah. And now they're they have the SNES Mini, exact same thing. It's a little baby Super Nintendo. It's got twenty of like the most popular Super Nintendo games on it. Ooh, only twenty. And huh? everybody on the planet wants one. It, it's like everybody took amnesia pills, and they're all going like, "Oh yeah, man, gotta get." Well, the thing is, the NES Classic ended up being so hard to get that now people are just doubling down on going crazy trying to pre-order this thing and now like did you know GameStop does this now where they own ThinkGeek oh I saw this and because yeah. ThinkGeek is like the the ThinkGeek's brand is hey we make really really cool video game fan like uh like uh, memorabilia for video games it's all really really cool stuff I but thought it, the thing was that they made bacon deodorant <laughs> Is that just their other thing? Do they make that? Yeah, they make a bunch of oh, like God. shitty nerd shit for idiot nerds. Okay, so that was I was basically trying to be nice when I was saying like, think if you're if you're getting <laughs> if you're getting dumb fucking bullshit for idiot nerds, <laughs> they make the best stuff of that stuff. Okay. But it's all three times as expensive as you want it to be. Yeah. So that's that's GameStop's like premium boutique video game brand. So what they do yeah, now? I worked for GameStop when they bought Think Geek, and we started carrying some like yeah. They so, had like a little Think Geek corner. In so the they're store. doing this for the Switch too, which is still hard to find. By the way, oh another Nintendo console. What a fucking shocker! Uh, and what they're doing is instead of selling pre-orders for the SNES Classic and the Switch on GameStop where they would have to just like, I don't know, sell you a couple games and an extra controller and a bundle. Instead, they're bundling it with like nonsense memorabilia garbage that you couldn't even begin to want like a mug that's shaped like a question mark block from Mario and, and a copy of Mario Kart because, you know, it's Mario. Like a mug, a Mario mug and then maybe like a Zelda statue but like an Ocarina of Time statue and they're, I swear to God, they're doing this and they're charging like $400 for a Switch bundle and like, uh, like on, $200 for a SNES mini bundle. Oh, so, okay, Switch bundle. Yeah, okay, yes. So yeah. this is so this is real. It's a Switch, which is $250. Yeah. It's uh, a copy of Minecraft Story Mode Season 1 Complete, which is 40 bucks. So right now, that's a $290 value. Yeah. And then they're selling you three foam... Minecraft weapons. By the way, this is... Hey, hey, remember that boss from Sonic 3? It's great. I love it. Three foam uh, uh, Minecraft, Minecraft weapons. Apparently, the cost of these three foam weapons is like $160, because that's how much they added on to the price. And that's not even to buy yeah, it now. Thing... That's a pre-order for the Switch. That's when they get a Switch. They'll ship you Minecraft Story Mode and three Minecraft weapons you don't need for... $160 too much. And they're doing that for the SNES Mini also. And it's just like the grossest thing. Like the moment they announced the SNES Classic, I was like straight up, I will not lift a finger to get one of these until I can stroll into a store and pick up an NES Classic off the shelf. Like I won't even touch a SNES Classic until they fulfill what, what they if, promised with the last thing that they made. What if you could walk into a store and get a, 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 a the, the SNES one? Wait, it's NES Classic and SNES Mini? Oh, sorry, they're all they're all classics, but okay. people use the term mini like interchangeably okay. with classic. So what if you could go into a, what if there was like you go to a GameStop and there's if 10 I, SNES classics? Honestly, I would think about it and maybe get one, honestly. Yeah. But like the idea that like I'm gonna sign up I'm gonna sign up to pre-order one? I'm gonna pre-order pre-ordering one of these things? <laughs> Yo, I would fucking burn down Reggie's house before I did that shit. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And and I'm sorry, like I'm usually so not I, oh, sorry, Reggie. I, uh, we will. I and and anybody who knows me, 
like if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know I'm totally not the guy who yells about anti-consumerism, even when it comes to Nintendo, but like, yo, this is off the rails even for Nintendo. Like it's just so crazy. I can't even fathom it. And like the fact that I didn't know about the signing up to pre-order. Yeah, you put your name on a waiting list at GameStop and then like you might get a pre-order or something like that. And, and even then, it's one of those fucking Think Geek bundles where you pay $100 too much. Yeah. And, and, nuts. and so... Yeah, and I saw those bundles. Those bundles suck. Like, like hey, do you want to spend $60 on this SNES Classic? Or do you want to spend $200 on this SNES Classic plus, like, a Metroid gun? Yeah, it's like, it's like the... Yeah, it's like a Mega Man Mega Buster or, like, a statue of Sa Zero Suit Samus who didn't even exist on, like, during Super Nintendo era. Like, or, or do you want, uh... Hey, I guess the SNES Classic has a version of Street Fighter 2, so do you want this huge statue of Ryu throwing a fireball that costs $150? Man, fuck you. Someone in the chat said uh, GameStop is struggling, LOL. It's like, yeah, but this is also, like, you want to know how you can fix yourself from being a, a, a struggling and basically obsolete company? Yeah. It's not by taking advantage of yeah. your... Like probably most loyal consumer. Yeah, because that's the thing. There's the and and there's also this like uh, I believe this false notion out there that like the problem with getting these things is because because of scalpers. Like someone was like, oh yeah, it's the scalpers. I was like, no, dude, GameStop is the scalper. Yeah. Like they're the one overcharging you. Scalpers can't even get these things. Like yeah. <laughs> what do you like? Who, who's the scalper that's getting more than one SNES Mini? Oh my god. Course out. That sucked. That did suck. Well, you're too fired out for this mess. Man. I really am. So, but the thing that's crazy to me is that I've been so gung ho about fuck that, like middle fingers to this Mini. My tweet was uh was two hands really just aren't enough for all the middle fingers I want to give to this Nest <laughs> Mini. Uh, and this Nest Mini was announced a few months ago. And, yeah. like, just, like, two days ago, I saw Patrick Klepik put up an article on Waypoint that was like, don't reward Nintendo for this pre-order bullshit on this NES Mini. I was like, dude, thank you! This is literally the first time I've seen anybody s talking any kind of fucking sense about this thing. Like, people are, are only talking about the panic attacks they're having about pre-ordering one. Like, yo, the alternative is free emulation! Yeah, just get a, just steal it. Dude! Just steal it. Yeah, just fucking steal it. Just steal it. Like we Red all button as a thing to, is not. Fuck is no. Not generally pro pirating. No, but, but like, just fucking steal it. Yo, when when Sega or like how about this or go to Sega. a fucking go to a game go to an old game store and buy a yo buy a Super Nintendo. Yo, this boss is a gigantic caterpillar. Caterpillar. <laughs> Paul, did you do this whole thing just for us? <laughs> oh, Paul, you shouldn't have. Paul, you You're... shouldn't have. And that's what happens when you get a, a Sonic game made by fans of Let's Play 20 Years of Sonic. Yeah. It, just, it just comes out this way. Well, when you get it made by one fan of Let's Play 20 Years of Sonic, as Paul Beer is the sole oh, right, of creator course. Yeah. and designer uh -huh. uh, for this game. Oh, that reminds me. So, I'm, I'm sorry, Keith. I'm sorry to take away our bit real quick here. Okay. But So, this game was made by Christian Whitehead who I came to find out is known in the Sonic community as Taxman. So I guess he's worked on some ROM hacks or whatever himself. He's So like that's weird if you if you see a YouTube video by like a diehard like like a quote unquote real Sonic fan like someone who's in the Sonic community, they will they will they won't say it's made by Christian Whitehead. A lot of them go like it's made by Taxman. Uh, which is that's very which weird. is nuts. But I will say your online ROM hacking persona being Taxman, pretty good. That's pretty. I, good. I'm in favor of it. But also, at least the the uh, one of the other programmers on this game who is um, with Head Cannon, I think Head Cannon might be all Sonic ROM hackers. But definitely the the lead guy from. Uh, Sonic Mega Mix is totally one of the the guys on this game too. So like, not, not I could have guessed that people that made Sonic Mega Mix also had a hand in Sonic Mania, but it's official. Um, I just feel like I'm still. This is there's a there's a there's a, like a fun visual thing coming up here. You should you should check it out. Okay. I don't I know how 
insane of an idea. <laughs> insane of an idea. It was on his head. That was funny.